This is a Trapcon braid beads. The link is down below in the description. Welcome back, bros, to another video review. Today, I have the opportunity to take a look at another Transformers Bumblebee figure, Deluxe Class Concept Art Sunstreaker. As for the contents, you get everything that you see before you right now. You get Sunstreaker, the figure himself, and he comes with two accessories, two blasters, and then standard for all Transformers figures, the instruction manual. Now that I've already zoomed in on this Bumblebee Concept Art Deluxe Class Sunstreaker figure, this is what we get. And right off the bat, guys, just looking at this character, if you did not know who Sunstreaker is, you would pretty much have a general idea that this is Sunstreaker because he's in that yellow color and he sort of looks like the sun uh, with the coloring on this figure. Now, if you are a G1 fan, yes, you know this is a form of Sunstreaker, but this is not the G1 character that we all know and love. This is the CGI model. Briefly, I'm just going to state that his head was uh, shown a little bit in the beginning opening scene of the Autobots on Cybertron uh, battling the Decepticon. So that's pretty much all you get for the movie for Sunstreaker. So pretty much they kind of made this with uh, characters that were supposed to be in the movie that didn't make the cut or whatever. So this is what we get. Now, just looking at it in a, at a whole, it's pretty much molded in this yellow canary plastic. The only thing bad that I know right off the top that you're going to notice and that I notice is going to be the translucent plastic chest portion. That is the only thing on this figure that I think is the weakest for this figure. Other than that, guys, this figure is pretty darn great and pretty darn good, in my opinion. And I actually like it because it's a very fun, small, deluxe figure. But as I stated, that translucent plastic chest gives you problems when trying to um, convert him from vehicle back to robot mode. So, yes, you have to play with that. And over time and period, yes, your uh translucent plastic chest can stress a little bit because it is translucent plastic for some reason it doesn't last as long as solid plastic that's uh colored so i don't know why it does that but it does basically you're gonna get a yellow all over the figure you're gonna a little bit of gray there and a little bit of orange other than that the face is spot on reminiscent to the G1 character, and I'm actually pretty satisfied for what Hasbro has already given us with this figure, and I think they're doing a good job, and hopefully if there are any other characters left for the Autobots, definitely make them because this is a pretty cool figure. As for the articulation on this figure, it is basically standard as what you would get with all the other deluxe class figures that you would see receive in Studio Series uh, series. Now, looking at the figure right off the bat, you already know that he is going to be hindered because he has these huge shoulder pads. So let's try to show off some articulation. Uh, you know it can't rotate really much with these, so you can at least extend it out if you really want to give him more of that G1 type shoulders. So that's pretty cool. I do like that, but that's just part of transformation. It rotates a full 360, as you can see. It is a little hindered right here because I had the guns plugged up. If I didn't have the guns, it would go full 360. Uh, it has those weird shoulders uh, that don't, you know, fully articulate like they should. Um, you don't have no butterfly, but it kind of looks like it with the way that this piece is. But as you see right there, it is a mushroom peg instead of a uh, ball joint. If it was a ball joint, we would have got some more dynamic poses in the arm. That would have been really cool. Uh, just moving this out of the way so we can look at the head. Uh, the head right here rotates left and right. Of course, as part of transformation, you can disengage it to give him maybe a more uh, looking up position if you want. And he goes down that much because he rests right here on the hinge for the chest portion. 
Um, as you see right here, it does have a waist swivel, which is pretty cool. Uh, the uh, elbows do bend 90, no wrist swivel, of course. Uh, all one molded piece of plastic. And then here we have the legs. The legs, they have a, they swivel right here at the uh, upper uh, thigh right there. They also bend 90 degrees, as you can see right there. Uh, it kicks up this far, um, kicks back that far. As you saw, it also has a waist swivel. So like I stated earlier, you get the same amount of articulation that you normally get with all other uh, deluxe size figures. So let's go ahead and bring out and check out the accessories that came with this figure. So as for the accessories that came with this figure, it only came with two. They're both identical and they do combine to make one bigger gun. So basically guys, these are two of his blasters. I don't have any issue with it. They're pretty solid until you look at the bottom where they're hollow. So if you want to combine these blasters, you just basically uh, peg these two pegs together just like that, and this is what you're given. So you get two blasters right there. If you want, you can put it in his hand, no big deal, and he can hold both. But me personally, with these two blasters, they kind of remind me of the G1's like exhaust uh, pipes or whatever. So for me, I like putting it on the back to make his backpack look a little bit more uh, G1. Um, and to me, I think I like it better than actually having the guns in his hand. So let's go ahead and take a look at this figure compared to figures that we may already have in our collection. So to start my comparison segment, here I have the Bumblebee Concept Art Deluxe Class Sunstreaker with the Deluxe Class Legacy uh, United Generation Selects um, Earth Mode of Sunstreaker. As you see right here, both of these characters or toys represent the same character. And of course, you have different styles. Now, on the right, you have the G1 style. And then on the left, you have that Bumblebee movie style. Now you can see where they got some of these uh, details and characteristics to bring out this character with the concept art and keep with the same type of continuity of that Transformers Bumblebee movie where they were fighting on uh, Cybertron against the Decepticons. Next for comparisons, here I have some more figures for you to check out the scaling and size comparison. Now, I haven't reviewed these figures yet, but they are coming out after this figure, but I wanted to show you the scale for these concept art Decepticons. Now, yes, I do like them. I do have the sound wave, but it is locked away in storage, so I do not have that accessible. I have the uh, star screen and the Thundercracker already and the thrust and also the Blitzwing. I don't know if you would have considered that part of this movie, but anyway, I do have those, but I don't have them available. So therefore, I have the Megatron, which is the leader class, and I also have the Voyager class with the Shockwave compared to the concept art uh, um, Sunstreaker. And then just for the more uh, generation G1, we have the blaster figure filling in. Then we have the uh, Sunstreaker and also his Lambo brother Sideswipe, just to see the height comparisons. And I don't know what it is in this movie, but I feel like they made the Decepticons like twice the size of the Autobots. And I, I don't know if that's truly accurate but you know when you read on about the autobots they were the smaller runts of the group and uh you know the freedom fighters i guess you would say and the decepticons were like the the leaders the the nobles and the the, the military you know like brute force but anyway just just looking at the way these scale and they look together i think they look pretty cool just so you get an idea of what type of figure and what size deluxe figure you're getting if you want to add this to your collection and here for my final comparison i have other figures from different genres of toy makers and different toy brands just so you can see what you're getting with this transformer and how he measure up with other toys from different uh toy makers so right off the bat you have the 1990s NECA ninja turtle donatello the jack specific uh movie sonic figure the miles morales Marvel Legends game verse figure and then you also have an old-school Jack specific uh, the Undertaker back there just 
for the human to size uh, figures of the wrestling right now. So now it's time for transformation. So now that we have the Transformers Bumblebee concept art Sunstreaker transform, this is what we get. It, it looks pretty sleek in my opinion, and it definitely gives me that Sunstreaker vibe. I'm definitely liking how the yellow is and how the windows have that like sleek, sports-like type vehicle. I like the rims on the vehicle. Uh, even though it is Cybertronian, but it gives me that vibe of expensive because we all know that character of Sunstreaker. He definitely loved the paint job in the vehicle he turned into and often didn't want to battle because he didn't want to scratch up his paint. So just looking at this figure, um, I'm definitely liking, like I said, in the front of the hood doing a transformation. I'm liking that blue um, reflects the light off very well. And then as you see right here, uh, which is pretty unique. The wheels are blue underneath, but it is this whole inside rim piece that spins around, which is pretty good and it reflects the light very well. So I'm definitely digging that. Underneath you see a little bit of robot kibble, as you already know. Uh, the back right here, because of Cybertronian, you know, I would have loved to seen like some orange here or something to give it like some brake lights or something like that. So basically you can let your whoever know that you're going left or right or there's somebody up ahead or whatever. This is me, but like I said, I'm nitpicking. I'm definitely digging how the weapon has weapon storage. You can store it here or on the top as like a spoiler. So I like the spoiler look for me. As I already told you, I think these remind me of the spoiler. So let's stop talking about this figure and bring out another figure so we can jump start the comparison segment for my part of my review. To start off comparisons, I had to bring out the same figure that I started off with, with the robot comparison. So here we have the G1 comparison of Sun, Sunstreaker right here. And I said it right, I don't know why I hesitated, like I was wrong, but Sunstreaker and Sunstreaker. Just looking at them, we see where they're going and what they're trying to get. Both of the cars look good. They have that sports uh, car sleekness to them. And I'm definitely digging how they look. Now, as you already saw in robot mode, um, yes, the legacy is definitely longer. Also in vehicle mode, 
as it is in robot mode. So that is unchanged, unfortunately. Um, both figures uh, compress and compact uh, very nicely. So I'm digging that. They both roll very good. Um, like I said, we all know there's a Sun Streaker, and I really don't have any more to say about this, guys, because they're both good figures in their own way. And I'm definitely digging this Buzz, this Bumblebee concept art Sun Streaker, because it definitely compresses very nicely and gives it that more futuristic movie style. Um, I guess details and characteristics as what we saw in the big screen. So let's bring out some more figures just so you can see some more alt mode comparison. So guys, I went ahead and zoomed it a little closer because I bought out some figures that we all should have in our collection. Now the figure we all should own in our collection is going to be this Earthrise Optimus Prime mold. Yes, he's been repackaged in uh, Kingdom and so on so and then he's also getting a new repackage later this year in legacy so just showing you right here how sun streaker scales with the earth rise optimus prime mode as you know this trailer mode is definitely too small so i'm definitely looking forward to the studio series commander class optimus prime hopefully they can right this wrong and give us a trailer that is at least the car length of two Autobots. So it can be very accurate to what we saw in the cartoon and what we know it should be. But the other vehicle I have comparing it is going to be the uh, Legacy United um, Hound figure. As you can see, they're pretty much the same length from the front of the vehicle to the back of the vehicle, of course. So just looking at these two right here, they look good beside Optimus Prime even though they are in different continuities of the Transformer uh, TV shows slash movie. But I just like the way it turns out because if you don't have a Sunstreaker character, I'm not saying this is a good feeling because when you transform them, they're completely different in stylized detail. But it still looks good to have somebody to fill in the gaps if you don't have a Sunstreaker at all. But like I said, it's a pretty good vehicle, guys. No complaints with it. It is like this futuristic type uh, vehicle. So um, my camera's up pretty high. So you guys really can't see how it's turning out. But this is what you get right here looking at it head on. And I'm definitely liking the way it turned out. So I don't have any complaints. So let's go ahead and continue the review. And let's bring out my final thoughts on this figure. All right, guys, so here we are to share my review on this character. Now, I'm going to start with the Yeah Bro figure pickup or pass grading system, of course. As you already know, if you're new to this channel, this is where I get to share my opinions and my thoughts on this recent figure in which that I picked up to review before you to give you the information to keep you informed whether you would like to add this to your collection or ultimately deciding to pass which is always totally up to you, and I respect your choice. So as for me, guys, I do think this is a pickup in my opinion, and the reason why it's a pickup for me, guys, because I like collecting the figures in this Transformers Bumblebee concept art movie, uh, I guess, segment, because the details on these figures are just superior. Just for them to be able to get them from mere seconds on a big screen, movie or TV or whatever you want to see it or call it from when you saw the movie to translate it into these awesome and cool and highly detailed toys. I'm definitely loving the way this has turned out. So I really am digging um, Sunstreaker. Now, I don't know if they're going to give us a side swipe in this mold because I don't remember seeing him because that scene was so short. But just looking at this figure, guys, I do like the way it turned out. The paint job on this figure, I do feel is satisfactory. Now, it could have been better, but ultimately they are using that translucent plastic in the front and the windshield that really bothers me and worries me over time. Because on my copy, um, sometimes when I fail to have the windshield angle certain way on the chest region, I got a little stressing on the inside of the windshield for Sunstreaker. So that is definitely 
bothering me. But other than that, it's pretty much a solid figure. The molding on this copy is brand new and not used by any other figure that has been created so far. So I'm definitely digging that. And I like that it is a fun toy that has a ton of playability, whether it is in robot mode or in alt mode. So with that being said, guys, I got to recommend this figure as a pickup and definitely not a pass in my opinion. So if you're interested in picking up a copy of this figure, guys, I actually purchased my figure from my local Target store where they had this figure in stock and his wave mate also in stock where the Transformers are currently on sale for that 30% off the regular price, which is $24.99. So for me, guys, it was a no brainer because I'm saving money and saving coins in my wallet for the next figure I want to purchase. But anyway, guys, just piggybacking off of that, it is a Target figure where I picked it up. You can get it anywhere. It's not an exclusive. So the link will be posted below if you would like to order it from Target.com if it is available. Don't shoot me if it is not. But guys, paying 30% off on Transformer figures is a huge deal in my book because I love getting my figures for cheaper than retail and also saving money for the next figure that I want to add to my collection. As always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. By doing these four actions, it shows my channel a tremendous amount of support and not only that, positive feedback as a YouTube content creator. Thank you once again for spending your time watching my video and until next time, yeah bro, I'll see you soon. And wait guys, don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you can be informed when I've uploaded new content for you to check out at your earliest convenience. Thank you.